Okay guys, last time we left off, I had just gotten to, whoops, I had just gotten to Gothway Garden, I think that's what this place is called, I'm gonna double check, um, yeah, Garth, uh, Garth, <laughs> Gothway Garden, uh, I am using a new recording software, and while I was testing it, I did end up leveling up. And it was such a good level up that I saved it. Uh, I got six attribute points to distribute, and I got 30 hit points, so I thought that was pretty great. Um, if you didn't know, typically you'll get anywhere from four to six attributes to spend. Uh, there is a way to maximize that. If you know that you're going to be leveling soon, you can save your game. And if you didn't get what you wanted, you can reload and try it again. Uh, stats are very limited in this game. There's only a few ways to get it. You can become a vampire, a werewolf, or you can do the Omega Infam Danger Quest. Uh, I don't even know if you'd like become a werewolf and do the Omega Infam. <laughs> if you'll be able to completely max all your stats or not. Mm, I'm gonna have to look at my map. Wrong one. <coughs> oh, yeah, there it is. I'm trying to get to these three buildings down here, so I need to go more southeast. So, when we got out of Privateer's Hold, I ended up with a pretty decent haul of loot. I got an Elven Pauldron, which shocked me. I was really happy about it. You don't usually get Elven at level 1 in the first dungeon. Uh, I got a Magic Ring, which we're going to go up to the Mage's Guild and identify. And I got some stuff to sell. And this is where we're going to go sell. I chose this building because rusty relics lie everywhere and that means that this place will give me higher money for my loot and if I can, there we go uh, the general store merchants will only typically buy weapons, they won't buy the armor that I picked up so I'll have to find a pawn shop or something else for that you will buy my book, so yay. Um, I am going to hold on to the silver Dakatana that we got, just because hopefully I can find something better when I go shopping, but I don't know if I'll be able to, so I want to have a backup. Alright, we got nearly 3,000 gold for that, which is pretty good, considering up here the total value of our items was... 5,982, so that's nearly 50%. That's really good, actually. Uh, let's get a wagon and a horse. And go ahead and see if he's got any. Ooh, pretty red. I'm going to take that, too. Alright. Uh, let's see if this shelf has anything good. No. Typically, Rusty Relic Shops don't have high-quality loot or goods on them. Alright, let me tweak my sounds a little bit because for some reason I am not hearing anything. Hopefully this doesn't end up coming through too strongly on the recording. Alright, now we not need to go to the Mage's Guild, <coughs> so I can get that ring identified and make some spells. This big building, blue building, is the Mage's Guild, so we're going to head north, and while we're going to do that, we're going to run around and we're going to jump. So we work on our running and jumping skill. I wonder what quality this shop is. Ooh, incense. This is the best shop. 
meaning that they will have higher quality so I could potentially find Elven. Whoops. Ew. Yucky. Ooh. Oh, that's dwarven. I wish I had axes now. How is that one? Uh, it's not as good as the Daikatana, but it's one-handed. Whereas the Daikatana is two-handed, so <clears throat> if I find a nice shield, I can wear it with it. Don't forget to keep running and jumping. <laughs> the problem with town visits is that they're a lot boring. More boring? <laughs> a lot boring. Uh, they're a lot more boring than if you were to do a dungeon dungeons you can get excited about loot and killing things but in town yeah you're in town all right so we need to loiter for the mages guild to open up for us so let's go ahead and do that uh five hours should do it Okay, let's get our ring identified. Not... Nope. Oh, I really hope it's something good. Uh. Well, this will help me get my charisma up for the moments that I need it, I suppose. Ah. Oh. It would have been nicer if that had been like speed or orcish strength. <clears throat> Alright, let's go find the spellmaker. There she is. Good guess. Alright, we're going to join the guild. Yes, you are worthy to join the mage's guild. And as an apprentice, you can use a spellmaker and get training in any of the guild skills. Later, I'll be able to use the library, buy magical items, and even make my own items. Yes, I want to join. Then henceforth, you will be known as Shanzara Niveria, apprentice of the Mages Guild. It will take patience and hard effort to gain access to all the guild offers, my child, but I can now give you access to our trainers and our spellmaker. Too much power and too little time has destroyed many a man and a woman. The Mages Guild is nothing but conscientious. Weird word. Alright, so let's make some spells. I'm only going to show you how to make one spell because I have a lot of spells to make. Um, and it gets time consuming. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make my training spell. Probably spells because there's two of them. Um, see if I can remember it off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright, water walking. This will increase my thaumaturgy. And what I do to drop the cost is I just raise this, the per levels, up one. And then I hit exit. And then I click the big box again. And then. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's heal. Yeah. So heal, and then again we raise the per level up one. Uh, and I think I think I've got this in the wrong order. It's not water walking. It's Silence. 
This one is silence. And then jumping. Alright, and what this does <clears throat> is silence will help my mysticism. Heal health will obviously help my restoration. Jumping will help my alteration. And what I do in order to reabsorb the spell points from casting it, I just make it area at range. So if I cast it at my feet, I'll absorb spells and reabsorb the spell points. Train M A. Alright, and the second training spell is for destruction. Water walking. And light. Now this one will train up my destruction, my thaumaturgy, and my illusion. Uh, I don't have illusion as part of any of my skills, but it's one spell point, so I might as well add it. And this one we also make to area at range. Now, let's name this one Train D I D I T. No, I don't want it deleted. I want to change my icon. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty. Alright. Uh, another really important one to buy is... Teleport. That basically allows you to anchor to one location. You can travel to wherever it is you need to go, whether it's a a quest or you just want to go visit another con uh another Wow, I am totally drawing a blank on what it's called. If you want to go visit another area another region but you want to be able to get back to wherever it is that you're leaving from without having to spend days upon days traveling again. You can just mark your location and then later on when you're ready you can teleport home. It's also free to buy if you do it this way. I believe if you buy it I'm so sorry about the yawning. I believe if you buy it through the... There's another person that sells spells. Ones that you can't adjust the values of. I believe if you buy it through him or her, it does cost you money to buy it, but if you do it here, it's free, so... That, and you can name it whatever you want. Alright, I am going to show you one more thing, and then I'm going to make my spells. Um, Alright, and a quick... Usually you have to push the up arrow, or the down arrow, to change the values of whatever you want it to do. But I recently learned of a really neat trick, where if you grab the middle, and you hold down your mouse button and then you move your mouse upwards or downwards you'll get a faster scroll so that's really beneficial for when your skills go up and uh, things don't cost as much spell points to to use you can make more powerful spells faster uh, if you didn't know this is the initial uh, effect of the spell so duration of one that means it will always last one round 
And then the plus here is per level. So as the spell is right now, initially it'll last for one round plus one round per level. Since I'm level two, that means this spell will equal a total duration of three rounds. If we increase this, obviously, that's going to change to 11 rounds. Yeah, well, yeah, well, actually, let's go ahead and make this spell. Um, let's go ahead and throw water breathing on there, and we'll give it the same duration. And change the icon to something water related. Aqua. Lung, I guess. So, this will allow me to move faster while I'm on underwater and this will allow me to breathe water so I don't drown and die. Yay. No, I don't want to add any more. Alright, if you do accidentally do that, you can always just click the accidental spell and delete it. I meant to click bye. Alright guys, that's it for me. I'm gonna... Go ahead and finish up my spells. I'll show you in the next one what I did. I hope you all have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.